The research in my laboratory focuses on inflammation and cancer, specifically cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the stomach, and cancer of the colon. And we look at chronic inflammatory conditions and how bone marrow cells from the patient's bone marrow migrate to these areas of inflammation, use the inflammatory environment to home to the area, stay within the tissues, and become the cancer-initiating cell. So why this is important clinically is because if we can identify the cell that initiates the cancer, potentially we can identify markers on those cells that allow us to target them for therapies. Our collaborations include the clinical gastroenterologists here at UMass and Memorial, as well as the immunology group, as well as the oncology group. Just looking from strictly a GI perspective, cancers of the esophagus, the stomach, and the colon can be found early, and in some cases found at a premalignant stage, and they can be prevented. If we have patients that have Barrett's esophagus, they undergo screening procedures to pick them up at an early stage. If they have a history of inflammatory bowel disease, they're screened for colon cancer. And the population in general needs to be screened for colon cancer beginning at about the age of 50 with a colonoscopy, unless there's a family history. It is so important to talk to your doctor, talk to your clinician about what's appropriate screening for you, for your age, for your genetic background, and for your particular situation. Because finding something early can mean the difference between life and death and finding something before it becomes an issue can prevent it. Funding from the Cancer Walk is so incredibly important because it allows us to take small ideas which may not be part of our main research focus and may not have other funding allowing us to do it and gives us the opportunity to pursue these areas. Once we have small studies underway and small advances in the area, we can then go on to bigger agencies and get funding for our major projects. It allows the community to get involved with our research here, it allows them to understand what we do, and it also allows us to come back to the community with hopefully new and different approaches to malignancies.